Good morning, every, uh, good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Very I'm fine. fine. So, good to see everybody. It's excellent to see everybody. How are, how is, uh, how was your day today? Pretty good? Did you have a good day? Yes, very good, teacher. Oh, good. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. Very good. Excuse okay, me, teacher. Uh, Hi. This moment is raining in, in, in my city. Please, I don't hear it very good. Oh, okay. Okay. It's okay. No problem. In that case, it's okay. Try Just do your best. Okay? No worries. Do, do, do the best that you can do. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to start um, by taking the attendance. So uh, we have Efrain Emilia Acevedo. Efrain Emilia Acevedo. Um, no, no le funciona el, el micrófono, Emilio. Okay, puede entrar de este otro dispositivo. No, no hay manera de entrar por otro dispositivo. O... Okay, eh, y es, hay alguien con Con, con usted que tenga eh, un, un cel celular o algo así eh, que le pueda prestar para, para la hora de clase. Ok, y perfecto, sí, porque um, así... Puede, puede participar porque de lo contrario eh, va a ser bien difícil que usted eh, pueda participar en la clase. Ok. A ver, let's continue. Um, Stephanie Saraime Martínez. Stephanie Saraime Martínez. Geraldine Lisette Villeda. Present teacher. Wonderful, thank you. Ingrid Maricela Flores. Here teacher. Perfect, thank you. Irma Adriana Segura. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you very much. Uh, Jose Alejandro Bacarano. Present miss. Excellent, thank you. Um, Juan David Madrid. Present teacher. Wonderful, thank you. Eh, Carla Melissa Colocho. Thank you. Wonderful. Kevin Josias Flores. Kevin Josias Flores. Kevin Josias Flores. Eh, Lucía Elena Cepeda. Lucía. Lucía Elena Cepeda. Okay. Eh, Merin Daniela Carranza. Merin Daniela Carranza. Okay. Milagro de la Paz Jiménez. Milagro de la Paz Jiménez. Here I am, Miss. Ah, okay. Wonderful. 
Mirna Janet Landos. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful, thank you. Nelson Adan Ceron. Present, teacher. Excellent, thank Present. you. All right. Uh, Patricia Espinalda Garcia. Present, teacher. Excellent, thank you. Um, Patricia Margarita Castellanos. Patricia Margarita Castellanos. Roberto Isaias Molina. Roberto Isaias Molina. Uh, Ronald Alexis Martinez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Um, Roxana Elizabeth Díaz. Roxana Elizabeth Díaz. And Sandra Elizabeth Asensio. Present teacher. Wonderful, thank you very much. Okay, everybody, we're going to move on. Thank you for answering for uh, is Stephanie Sarai. Present teacher. Okay, okay, perfect. Okay, all right, so we're going to move on to the next part. And for this, I need you guys to Tell me if you are able to see my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes, each other. Yes, yes, yes Miss. Yes, yes, sure. Okay. So here we have a conversation between George and Stephanie. Okay. And um Remember that we have been talking about making requests and everything like that. So we're going to see that a George makes a request to Stephanie. So let's listen uh, to the to the pronunciation and repeat. Hi. 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 Okay. Let, let's try to all do it together so we don't have like like echoes. You just okay. I'm okay. your new neighbor. Hey, you need I'm your neighbor. I'm your new neighbor. I'm your new neighbor. I'm your new neighbor. Neighbor. Um, George Rivera. George. I live next door. I live, I live next, door. next door. Oh, hi. I'm Stephanie Lee. Oh, hi. I'm Stephanie Lee. So, you just moved in? So, so you just moved in? Move it in. I'll repeat that. So you just moved in? So, so you just moved in? Just moved in? Do you need anything? Do you need anything? Do you need anything? Not right now. Not, Not right, right, right now. Not right now. But thanks. But, but thanks. thanks. But thanks. Well, let me know if you do. Um, by the way, um, um, by, the by, way, the way by the way, would you mind, would you mind, would you mind, mind turning your stereo down? The walls are really thin. The walls are really thin. So the sound goes right through. So the, the sound, sound, the sound, sound goes right through. 
to my apartment. To my apartment. To my apartment. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm oh, so sorry. sorry. I didn't realize that. I, I didn't realize that. that. I'll make sure. I'll make, make sure. sure to keep the volume down. To keep the volume down. The volume down. Oh, by the way. Oh, by, by, by the way. way. Is there a good Italian restaurant? Is there a good Italian restaurant? In the neighborhood? In the neighborhood? Yeah. 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 There's a great one. There is a great one. A couple of blocks from here. A Try their lasagna. Try their lasagna. lasagna. It's delicious. It's, it's delicious. delicious. It's delicious. Okay, bravo. Excellent. Do you have any questions about the pronunciation? Something that may not be clear? Teacher, uh -huh. uh, en donde dice realice, así eh, como se escribe. Can, you, se... can you please ask me in English? Um, dice, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize. O así se pronuncia. Eh, what, can you please ask me completely in English? Oh. Uh huh. In uh um. Uh, see in English. Yeah. Okay. So where it says, repeat. Where it says. Where. It says. It says. Realize. Realize. Do you pronounce it like that? Um. In do, you, do you do you pronounce it? Pronounce it like that. Like like that. Like that. Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, so this word here. Um, so so, me, eh, Mirna is talking about. Oh, está mi cursor. Ahí está. Okay. Eh, Mirna is talking about this word right here. And yeah. the pronunciation of this word is realize. Oh, yeah. Okay. Realize. Realize. Okay. Okay. Miss, so, miss, yes. re realize is like a no. I didn't know. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, to notice. It means to notice. Okay. All right. Any other questions? More questions? You can ask any questions. No? That's it. That's the only word that you you want to know, or the meaning of a word. You can not not just pronunciation, but the meaning of a word. No, miss. Not too sure. Okay. All right. Well, in that case. Um, what I'm going to do is I, I want you to practice this conversation with a partner. Okay, So for that, I'm going to um, send this conversation to you.
in the WhatsApp group. Okay, and then you guys can practice it. So just give me a moment. Okay, do you see it? Yes. Yeah? Everybody sees it. Okay, perfect. And just make it before I send you to breakout rooms, I want to make sure that um, everybody that is here is actually able to be in a group and participate. So, um, okay, Irma Adriana. Irma Adriana, are you there? Sí, teacher, pero ahorita soy de oyente porque estoy en mi trabajo. Okay, so you're not going to be participating. All right, got it. Okay. Okay, so, and um, Kevin Flores? Kevin Flores? Kevin Flores is not here. Okay. Uh, Kevin, if you are listening to this, I don't know if you are, but if you are, I need you to change your name so that you have a complete name because right now you only appear as Kevin Flores. Okay, so we need you to have your name as it is in the Dewey. Okay, eh, creo que de ahí todos los demás sí están. Um, hello, Roberto. Roberto Isaias, are you here? No, Roberto Isaias. Okay, in that case, guys, I am going to give you about four minutes and we're opening the rooms right now. Juan David? Juan David, are you, are you there? Can you connect? Rivera, I I live next door. Hola. Hola. Uh Ajá. -huh. Usted es Stephanie. Um. Oh. Hi. I am so just move it in. Do you need anything? Emilda? Hola. Mirna, are you there? Hola, hola. Hola. Creo que se nos fue otro momento. 
protocolo. Es que me está fallando el internet, mis. It's okay. It's okay. Por la lluvia. No problem. It's okay. Just continue. Solo que como me está fallando, no, no, car no carga la pantalla de que ella compartió. Ah, okay. Pero lo puede ver desde su celular en, en WhatsApp. Eh, sí, solo que cuando me salga la aplicación se me va a apagar la cámara. Está bien, no con solo que practique. Es lo importante okay. ahorita. Ok, ok. Ahorita. Aquí está. Eh, ella había comenzado con George y yo iba con la segunda donde decía oh hi I am Stephanie Lee ahorita le tocaría decir eh, el, la, el segundo párrafo de Stephanie ah ok not right not right no but thanks well let me know if you do mm, I Mm, by the way, would you mind turning your stereo down? The walls are really thin, so the sound goes. So the sound goes right to, to my apartment. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't really realize that I will make sure to keep. The volume down. Oh, by the way, is there a good Italian restaurant in the neighbor neighborhood? Yeah, there's a great one a couple of blocks from here. Try their lasagna, it's delicious. Okay. No sé But si... Ajá. Sí, gusta, cambie usted siendo George y yo a Stephanie. Okay, everybody. Um, so, any questions about uh, the vocabulary? The I have a question, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. In the part of the of the conversation, when George said, uh, "Right through to my apartment," is that correct? Right through to my apartment. Yes. Because I don't know. Because to me, it sounds the two is. It should not be there, but I don't know if I'm wrong about it. So right through to my apartment means directly towards my apartment, directly inside my apartment. When we add the two, because for me, it was right through my apartment. Okay, just let me check to see what you're you're talking about. Um, so it says, uh, which one? okay, the walls are really thin, so that the sun goes right through to my apartment. Yeah, that's correct. Oh, okay. Right through to my apartment it means um, it means eh, directamente a través eh, hacia mi apartamento. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Thank All right. You. You're welcome. Anything else? Okay, in that case, what we're gonna do is we'll move on. Uh, well, actually, you know what, just let's, before we move on, I want to hear two people um, 
practice in the conversation. So who would like to be uh, George? Uh, you can raise your hand if you want to be George. Your, your virtual hand. Anybody want to be George? Wonderful. Okay, so uh, Ronald, you can be George. Uh, Jose Vaquerano, you can be Stephanie. Okay. Go for it, guys. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. You are George. Okay. Okay. Hi, I'm your new neighbor, George Rivera. I live next door. Oh, hi, I'm Stephanie Lee. So, do you use in? Do you need anything? Not right now, but thanks. Well, let me know what you do. Um, by the way, would you mind tuning your theory down? The walls are really thin, so the sounds goes right through to my partner. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that. I'll make sure to keep the volume down. Oh, by the way, is there a good Italian restaurant in the neighborhood? Yeah, it is a great one, a couple of blocks from here. Try the okay. lasagna, it's delicious. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, bravo. Thank you, guys. Excellent job. Okay. Um, can you keep the, well, okay, sorry. All right, um, one more group that can practice. Who wants to be uh, George? With your, you can, you can lift your, you can raise your hand. Okay, Geraldine, very good. And who wants to be Stephanie? Ah, uh, anybody wants to be Stephanie? Oh my guys, just reading. It's only reading. And that way I can help you with pronunciation. Wonderful. Admitting you can be Stephanie. Okay, go for it, too. you too. Okay. Oh, I'm going to put the positive. Okay, I can do that. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, no problem. Hi, I'm your new neighbor, new neighborhood, Josh Rivera. I'm next door. Oh, hi. I'm Stephanie Lee. So, do you anything? Do you do anything? Not right now, but thanks. Well, let me know if you do. Um, by the way, would you mind turning your street down? The wall I really think so the song goes right through to my apartment. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that. I'll make sure to keep the volume down. Oh, by the way, is there a good Italian restaurant in the neighborhood? Yeah, there's a great one a couple of blocks from here. Try their lasagna. It's delicious. All right. Very good, girls. Excellent. Okay, everybody re repeat after me. Right through to my apartment. Right, right through to my apartment. Right. Good. Right through to my apartment. Right through my apartment. Yes. Very good. Okay, excellent. All right, let's move on now. Okay, we're going to move on to the next part. Please tell me if you can see my screen. Yes. 
Yes? Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. All right, so um, here we have, okay, so if you notice, um, George was complaining about something, right? What was he complaining about? About the volume. About the volume of what? The volume of the stereo. Um, okay, the volume of the stereo, very good. So Stephanie, she had to react to that complaint. And there are different ways that you can react um, to show that you uh, want to apologize, okay? And the first way that you can do this is by um, apologizing and giving an excuse, okay? So you understand excuse, right? Right? It's like in Spanish, an excuse. So you can say, I'm sorry, I didn't realize. Here it be, I'm sorry, I didn't realize. I'm sorry, I'm I didn't sorry. realize. Mm -hmm. Here repeat, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't realize. Another thing you could do is apologize and admit a mistake. Okay, so you can say, I forgot I left it on. I forgot I left it on. Left it on. Yes. Here. Next. Apologize and make an offer. So you can say, I'll turn it down right now. I'll turn, I'll turn, it, turn it down, down right, now. Now. right now. Mm -hmm. Good. And the last way you can apologize, and after you apologize, you can make a promise. Okay, And it would sound something like this. I'll make sure to keep the volume down. I'll make, I'll make sure to keep the volume down. I'll repeat that again. I'll make sure. I'll make sure, make sure, I'll make sure, sure to keep the volume down. To keep the volume, to keep down. The volume down. Good, good, good. Excellent. Bravo. Okay, very good. Now, how, that's how we normally apologize in English. What about in Spanish, especially in El Salvador? How do people apologize? If somebody comes and tells you that your your music is too high, the volume is too high, how would you say that in Spanish? Normally we offer a solution sometimes more than the apology first. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how could it, so what would be a solution? In the situation that the stereo is too loud, we can say, I'll, I turn it down or I'm going to load the, load the volume. Yeah, very good. Okay. So you would make a promise, right? So you say, oh, I'm sorry. I'll lower the volume. Okay. Yeah, very good. Anything else that you would say in, in El Salvador? Anything else you would say? Okay, all right, okay. So just that's a, a little bit of a lesson on how it's normal to apologize. Now let's um, look at how we ask for a request, okay? So that's how you apologize, but how do you um, make a request? How do you ask someone to turn down the volume? So please tell me if you can see my screen. 
Can you see my screen? Yeah. Yes, miss. Okay. So there are different ways that you can do it. The first way that we would we would be able to do it is this is this is um for requests, right? Um, especially if you're asking someone to like um, lower the volume or things like that. You can use modals, modals and the simple form of the verb, modal auxiliary. Okay, so that's the first way, using a modal auxiliary. And the modal auxiliaries that you can use are can, could, and would. Okay, those are the three, the only three. After that, we're going to be using the subject, which is pretty much going to be always you, because it's a request. Could, can you, could you, would you? Okay. And then we're going to be using the simple form of the verb. So in this case, we have turn down. Leave the door open. Keep the noise down. And if you noticed, um, we used the the word please to make it sound even more polite. Okay, would you please? You could just say, would you keep the noise down? Um, but it sounds much more polite if you say, would you please? Okay, so tell me in Spanish, how would you say that? Can you turn the stereo down? How would you say that in Spanish? Can you turn the stereo down? Paga la radio. Puede apagar la radio. Puede apagar la radio. Uh -huh. Good. Puedes apagar. Well, no, sorry, no apagar. Podría, uh, puedes Bajar el volumen. Bajarle al estéreo, ¿verdad? ¿Puedes bajarle al estéreo? Ok. Could you leave the door open, please? Podrías dejar la puerta abierta, por favor. Podrías dejar la puerta abierta, por favor. Podrías dejar la puerta abierta, por favor. Right? So, make it a request. That sounds like very, very polite. Podrías, instead of saying puedes, it's like podrías, it makes, sounds, it makes it sound even more polite. And the other one would, is using would. But because would is be more direct, it's very natural to say please. So would you please keep the noise down? How would you say that in Spanish? Would you please keep the noise down? How would you say that in Spanish? Podría mantener eh, yeah. la, el ruido este, abajo o digamos este, como podría decirse. ¿Te importaría mantener el ruido abajo? Quisiera, por favor, este, hacer menos ruido. Okay, um, so. Um, Podría no say... subirle mucho el volumen. Okay, so. Pod podría is with could. Uh, but here we're using would. So the when you say would, basically you're you're just making this direct with the verb. In this case, the verb is keep. So it would be quisieras. no. Mm. In this case, it would be mantén. Um, no, sorry, it would be mantendrías, sorry. Mantendrías el, uh, el ruido eh, al mínimo, por sería favor. Tan uh, sería, sería tan amable de mantener el ruido abajo. No, no, because then you're adding more information. Sería tan amable, that would be, would you be so kind? Ya, eso ya es otra, otra idea. Ah, okay, 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 so it would just be... Um, it would be more like a, uh, mantendrías el, el, el ruido 
al mínimo, por favor. En español, si es polite, please, eh, sería, mantendrías, por favor, el ruido al mínimo. Uh -huh. Exacto, mantendrías, por favor, el ruido al mínimo. Ok. So, notice if, if the, 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 the por favor makes it sound much more polite because if you just say, mantendrías el, el, el ruido al mínimo, sounds very rude. But if I just say, if I say, por favor, all of a sudden it makes it much more polite. So, mantendrías, por favor, el ruido al mínimo? Does that make sense? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, perfect. All right, now that's one way to do it. That's um, using the modal, okay? The modals, modal, uh, modal auxiliaries, can, could, and would. The other one is by using would you mind plus a gerund. Would you mind plus a gerund? Okay. So, example. Would you mind? Okay, notice all of them starts with would you mind? And then the gerund, uh, for example, would you mind turning? Sorry. Would you mind? turning the stereo down would you mind in the, in the negative not closing notice the not goes at the beginning so would you mind not closing the door please or would you mind keeping the noise down okay miss yes would you mind es en español te importaría exactly yes mm -hmm. Te importaría. Mm -hmm. So, how would you say, would you mind turning the stereo down? Te importaría bajarle al stereo. Good. Te importaría bajarle al stereo. Al stereo. Would you mind not closing the door, please? Te importaría no la puerta, por favor. Sorry. ¿Te importaría no cerrar la puerta, por favor? Good. ¿Te importaría no cerrar la puerta, por favor? And notice again, the please makes it much more polite. Would you mind keeping the noise down? Would you mind keeping the noise down? ¿Te importaría mantener el ruido abajo? Good. Ruido o, abajo. Al mi, uh -huh, o al mínimo, right? Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Mantener el ruido o bajo. ¿Te importaría bajar el ruido? También podría así. No bajar el ruido. Um, Mantener o bajo. Eh, ¿Te importaría? Because keeping es mantener. So, ¿te importaría mantener el ruido? Bajo. Yeah, I guess we can see it. Pero keeping, keeping es, es manteniendo, seguir manteniendo el, el, el ruido bajo. Yes, but that's, so, but the way that we say in Spanish, it'd be, te importaría eh, mantener. Because that's the structure that we use in Spanish. Te o seguir manteniéndote, mantener. o seguir manteniéndote quieto, por favor. Spanish. Um, because seguir, then there would be seguir, seguir mantendiéndote. And then Spanish, is right, in English it would be, would you mind continue to keep? Ya sería otro uh, verbo. Uh, I, I have a question. Uh, would you like, what you mean uh, uh, is, is a polite or a, uh, or uh, the intonation uh, 
é... play the the um se me fue la idea se quedó en mí pero eh, la cuestión es que la entonación juega un papel importante cuando uno dice what you need en inglés o sea porque se oye no tan polite would you mind what do you mind would you mind would you mind yes that is mind? very polite so basically I would say that um, this Going this way is like going like more polite. Like the the more you use it going this way, the more polite it is. Okay, so can would sorry can could and would going downwards is more polite, and this is even more polite. Would you mind? Okay, that's the most polite. Would you mind? Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and teacher, and yeah. the and if you use the word please, it makes it even more polite. Okay. What do you mean, Moby D here, please? Mm -hmm. All right. Any other questions? Yeah, I, I only I, I can't see any in uh teacher. I, uh -huh. I think that what Juan David is trying to ask is that it matter when you ask these questions, it matters the tone in the way that you say it. Like we can say this angry and screaming, we should be calm and asking softly. Well, yes, that's the reason why we add the word please to make it sound more polite, right? So, um, of course, tone is always going to be um, important. And even if you're saying the most polite thing in the world, like um, if, you're, if your intonation is not precise, it's going to sound like you're angry. Mm -hmm. Right? Just like to give you an example, the word really. You can say it in so many different ways, really. You could say... Really? Which means that you're you are surprised and and, and you want um, more information. I can say, really? Like saying like, are you serious? Like you you um, you don't see what's wrong with this, right? Or I could say, hmm, really. Kind of like saying like, oh, I don't really care about this. So see, it's the same word, and I'm not changing. I'm not changing anything. The only thing I'm changing is the intonation. So of course, intonation is always going to be important when you say a request. You need to have a very uh, pol polite intonation so that you don't get misinterpreted. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is clear for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Miss. Okay. Perfect. All right. In that case, um, moment. Okay. So in that case, I'm gonna send. Um this to the WhatsApp group. You guys already have it, but I just want to make sure that it's clear. The way that we explained it, of course. Okay. Okay. All right, and what we're going to do right now is we're going to be doing the exercise that goes with this activity. So um, please tell me if you can see my screen. Yeah. 
Okay. Yes. So you're going to match the request with the appropriate responses. Okay. And it tells you here that the more than one answer is possible. So for example, can you lend me $20? What would be a natural response? Okay. Do we understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Okay. Good. Yes. Um, so I'm going to send this to you in the WhatsApp group. Okay. Um, and I'm going to put you into breakout rooms. Okay, just making sure, um, Nilsa Nadan, are you going to participate, Nilsa? Nilsa Nadan? Okay, Carla Melissa? Carla Melissa? Ingrid Maricela, Ingrid Maricela, are you going to participate, Ingrid? Okay, teacher, I am muting. Are you going to participate? Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um. And Hola, Roberto. Teacher. Roberto, si no. Okay, so let me just. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello. Okay, so I'm going to put you guys into the breakout rooms, and you can come. You can complete it. Here we go. Ahorita la voy a buscar en el grupo. Gracias. A veces de que no, no, no entiendo yo por qué este me, me sale. Me sale error al momento de, de compartir la, la imagen. Ah, sí, aquí, pero me quiero ver. Sí, yo la acabo de la acabo de ver, pero no. ¿A dónde no sería sé. que tengo que irme? Como aquí en la computadora, no sé muy bien. Ya la, no. ya la guardé en la máquina, pero no sé a dónde. Ahí si usted la tiene, le sí. puede dar... De compartir con archivos creo que le puede parecer porque déjenme ver si la puedo pasar yo la estoy viendo del whatsapp pero no la puedo mandar al zoom voy a ver archivos si no la damos este del whatsapp porque uh -huh. no, no. Bye. 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 Entonces, Bye. este could you lend me 20 dollars the answer can be uh, are you kidding? I'm totally, I'm totally broke. Sí, esa sería la respuesta. Uh -huh. va a decir. <laughs> Would you mind picking it? Would you mind picnic? picking of uh -huh. a sandwich for me? Um, mm -hmm. uh, oh, oh, no, 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 no. Sure, no uh -huh. problem. 
I'd be glad to, or oh, no? No, 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 it's a no, no, no. Sorry. Uh, I'm so sorry. I'll do it right away. I do right away. Creería yo. I am sorry. I did. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'll do it right away. Yeah, you see, yes, it can. El la otra es. Can you move into my new apartment, apartment. tomorrow? tomorrow. Uh -huh. um, I'm sorry, but I am busy. Yeah. Would you mm. mind not smoking here? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize this was the no smoking section. No, the yeah, ah, yeah, yeah, sí, esa es, por ahí tienes que hacer eso, pero I didn't realize this, this was the non-smoking section, yeah, would you please move your car, it's blocking my driveway, sure, no problem, I, I'd be glad to, no, 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 sí. no. Uh, we, sorry, we, we talk more quickly, no, 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 no. It's about talk. Esa quizá sería. Sure, no problem. I'd be glad. Okay, guys, um, so we'll quickly check the answers. Uh, could you lend me $20? Letter D. I think it's the letter of D. D. Letter D, are you kidding? I'm totally broke. <clears throat> okay. Would you mind picking up a sandwich for me? Letter E. It's the letter of E. Letter? Yeah. F. F. Letter F. Okay. Um, sure, no problem. I'll, I'll, I'll be glad to. Okay. E. And letter? E. And letter E. I'm really sorry, but I'm busy. Okay, sure. Can yes. you help me move into my new uh, apartment tomorrow? Letter E. Letter E, I'm really sorry, but I'm really busy. Okay, anything else? Letter mm. F. 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 Yeah, it's very bad. Okay, would you mind not smoking here? Letter C. C. Letter C, sorry. Oh, mm. I'm sorry, I didn't realize this was a non smoking section. Would you please move your car? It's blocking my driveway. Letter B. B. Letter B, yes, sorry, I'll do it right away. Um, and would you, a, I know the last one. Would you mind not talking so loud? A. Letter A. Letter A. Good. All right, those are our answers. Okay. All right, guys and girls, so we're going to finish our class there. Um. I'm actually just going to be checking that everybody is here. Um, I heard pretty much everybody, except I didn't hear a Kevin Josia Flores. Kevin Josia Flores here. Kevin Josia Flores. Lucia Elena Cepeda. Lucia Elena Cepeda. 
Mary and Daniela Carranza. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Patricia Margarita Castellanos. Patricia eh, Roberto Isaías Molina. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. And uh, Roxana Elizabeth Diaz. Roxana Elizabeth Diaz. Okay. Bueno, de ahí creo que te escuché a todos los demás. Okay, so that was going to be all for today, guys. And I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so take care. Bye, miss. Bye-bye.